going to show some slides here while I'm up here. And uh, I appreciate this church allowing us to go. <laughs> you guys make a huge investment when you send us to uh, commissions, and I thank these Baptist men and ladies for going as well. Uh, I'm so thankful to be a part of a church that loves serving the Lord here in Yadkin County and around North Carolina and around the world. And that's what as Christians we're called to do is to minister to people. And we should never sit in this church and do absolutely nothing. We're called to live more and to preach the word and to take the good news. And I'm thankful that our men use the talents and gifts they have uh, here through the Yadkin and him, but also through love. I guess the ministries they do in Conover, wherever they go. But I appreciate our youth going, and uh, it is through your generosity that you send us, and uh, we were able to go to uh, the island of Molokai and the island of Oahu and the big island of Hawaii to help. We went to Molokai because the North Carolina Baptist State Convention, that's Pastor Mike, and the North Carolina Baptist State Convention is partnered with uh, the island of the islands of Hawaii to send teams to build and to minister to students and kids. And that's why we went. And uh, I'm thankful to be able to go and to take each of these students there uh, to serve. And they use their gifts and talents, whether it's a singing or soccer camp, or uh, we did a construction project on the parsonage there the, uh, that uh, a lot was done in those four days to actually jack up the house and to refinish that. But if our guys want to share that, they can. I'll let them do the talking with that. But uh, it's an honor to go and uh, to to grow a beard and to get to shave a beard and come back and to be a part of a church that loves the Lord and you love students. And I thank you for that. And we did get to go. We had some good times and good fun and saw sights that uh, we'll probably never see again in our lives. But uh, I will say this. I've been on mission trips for 20 years, 25 years. But it's one of the greatest I've been on is the fact to get to interact so closely with a community of people and to sit with them at the table and eat and to stay at their home and to uh, just spend time with them, whether it was a rainy camp out or a Sunday afternoon lunch or uh, to go down and eat ice cream and just to sit and talk and to hear stories, that, uh, true stories that people share their lives. And as we would leave uh, the island of Molokai, the students and the uh, pastor there would be, they stood at the end of the runway because the airport in Molokai is just about the size of this room. And, uh, security <coughs> and uh, they would stand at the end of the runway and wave goodbye to us and uh, but we hope it's not a goodbye because uh, through meeting with them I hope that next summer they can send a group back here for us at Impact Yadkin. That's our goal is to help them as well to come here and to let them minister to you, to minister to us because we're able to give back. And, uh, in the book of Acts, the Apostle Paul, any time when he traveled, he returned back to share what he had learned he came back to share to his home church of what he knew, and that's what we want to do as well. Through these slides, some of these slides you won't even know anything because you weren't there maybe, but I want you to see our kids working and serving faithfully. And all the students went, um, they gave in a tremendous way, and uh, they put up with a lot. And uh, I kind of stretch them a little bit through, uh, I don't know, Real nice accommodations on the floor, and uh, <laughs> most of the places we stay, we're blessed with uh, scorpions and bugs and roaches, and uh, so you just kind of get a little thicker air mat, and kind of gets you a little bit higher off the uh, out of the bugs when you sleep. And uh, they were really good. They were they gave a lot. There was, uh, of course, no air conditioning by no means, and uh, that's great. And uh, very few showers, and uh, uh, but you know God's good. He blesses. He blesses because we give back to Him. But I'm gonna. Let these kids come one by one and want to share, and if they like, let us going to be first, and then they can work their way through. And they'll close it uh, with a song. Well, uh, I just want to say um, thank you for letting us go. Um, we had a great time. Fizzer did mention the lizards. We, we were infested with lizards at the church that stayed at. So every time we crawled in your sleeping bag, we had to check it for lizards and scorpions and roaches and wasps and everything else. But um, we had a good time. We had um, uh, several that come out to BBS and our soccer camp, and uh, we was really blessed. You could really tell that they wanted to learn because they're very knowledgeable when you ask them questions. And um, um, it was really hard to say goodbye and stuff to them because uh, uh, you really got connected with them. They put Rick in jail every day. And, um, it was really fun. Um, I guess. My favorite part of the trip was uh, just our hospitality. It was just like South Ridge Baptist Church. There's nothing like South Ridge Baptist Church. And uh, when we went over there, um, I felt like I was walking in South Ridge, and it was just great. And um, as you can see the pictures, we had a, um, a great time. There's lots of laughs and lots of good conversations. And um, God really moved. And um, we shared a couple of testimonies over there. And I hope, hope they were a blessing to the people. At, Kind of caught that.
we really worked on the basement part of it because it was all, all down. Upstairs was fine. It was the church parsonage. But it was really, it was great to be able to all work together for God and just better that man's life and, you know, give him better, um, a better place to live. And um, it was great to be so welcomed by the church in Malachi. Um, I mean, they, this was a tiny little church that, I mean, they had no idea what to expect. And they, they just, they welcomed us and they, they cooked for us every single meal. And that was just a blessing. And um, to watch our group work with the kids, I didn't work a whole lot with the kids, but to watch our group um, work with the kids. And you could tell that the kids didn't really, they, they never really seen many outsiders that weren't natives to Malachi. And um, just from seeing, just from seeing, especially seeing them, you know, standing on the runway and wave at us as we left, um, they just didn't really want us to leave. And you could tell how great an impact they had on, we had on them. So that was, that was really a blessing. And probably the biggest thing that meant a lot to me over the trip was just being with such a godly and positive group of people and um, just enjoying God's glory with them through the three islands and just realizing how great God really is. And I felt like through this, this group of 30 people, I, I grew so much closer to God. And um, I'm thankful for that.
not just, as you say, it's not a vacation. We learn a lot of things, but let those things you can learn about the Lord and ministry commit yourself to more fully follow Christ. To make Him the Lord of your life. To give Him your heart and your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, commit yourself to Him. And, and to a church. A church that's biblically centered, that is missions minded, that wants to reach people for Christ, that wants to fulfill the great commission of Jesus, which He said in Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Go therefore into all the world. Making disciples. Discipleizing people. That's what you did these last few weeks. You may not realize the people you minister to are becoming stronger <coughs> believers because of your ministry. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I command you. Along with you always. We, we reach out. We discipleize. We uh, <coughs> teach them what Christ has taught. And we realize that Christ is in their life. We trust them in it. So let's pray and close our time together. And as we close, maybe ask the Lord how you need to follow the Lord and commit in your life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, these reports and these uh, accounts of uh, just opportunities to witness for you. Perhaps through construction, renovating someone's house, fixing a parsonage, putting things back together. The Lord is not us, it's all about you. But for VBS, for uh, soccer clinics and things where we work with children that we think, oh, they're just children, but they are lives that are impacted for Jesus Christ. And now, Lord, we just leave them in your hands because we, we've done what we could, but we simply have to leave them in your hands to follow through, disciple, and help them to strengthen and become encouraged as believers. We leave them in your hands. Lord, there may be some here today in hearing this, and maybe you haven't been involved the last two weeks, that you realize that I don't have a church family. I don't have a church that I can say I, I'm committed to. Uh, you're committing to a body of believers who also share that same desire to know Christ and make him known. Give him your heart and life today. Follow through with believers' baptism if that's what you need. That's the very first step of following obedience. Just give him that. Commit to whatever it might be in your life right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your working in our hearts and lives and in hearing these things. We're not glorifying ourselves or our church. We're lifting up the name of Jesus that others might know, that they might be experiencing that transformed life, a new life in Christ. So we thank you, Lord. We pray these things now, asking your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Our invitation to him is to send everyone here. As you sing the words number 320, turn your eyes upon Jesus. You need to respond in some way. Maybe for believers not to be in for membership in this church, whatever God's been speaking to you about, as you sing number 320, turn your eyes upon Jesus. You step out and meet you in the front if you need to respond in some way. Let's stand together and sing.